Democratic National Convention just a few hours away from kicking off today. They are feeling a lot of momentum with new polling data among voters showing Vice President Kamala Harris leading former President Donald Trump. Meantime, protesters are already gathered for the many planned demonstrations. ABC's Jacqueline Lee is in Chicago with the very latest. The blue carpet is laid, sound checks are complete, and Vice President Kamala Harris has arrived. The Democratic National Convention is ready to kick off its first day, welcoming more than 50,000 visitors to the city of Chicago. I very much consider us the underdog. We have a lot of work to do to earn the vote of the American people. On the campaign trail, Harris and Walls completing a bus tour through the crucial swing state Pennsylvania, attacking Trump for his leadership style. The real and true measure of the strength of a leader is based on who you lift up. Yeah. That's what we see as strength. Anybody who's about beating down other people is a coward. A new ABC News Washington Post Ipsos poll showing a dramatic shift in the race. Harris eclipsing President Joe Biden and leading Trump nationally with a six point lead nationwide among likely voters. And as I started listening to her and following her, I thought this woman is going to be good for this country. But Trump is leading Harris by 10 points on immigration and nine points on the economy and inflation. Trump touting his economic plans in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania. I want to cut taxes on Americans while putting tariffs on China. While continuing his personal attacks against the vice president. Her biggest advantage is that she's a beautiful woman. I'm going, huh. I never thought of that. I'm better looking than she is. Back in Chicago, about 1,000 people marching peacefully through the streets, demanding action on reproductive and LGBTQ rights and an end to the Israel-Hamas war. Later tonight, President Biden will be making a primetime speech, making his case as to why he thinks Harris is the best person for the country. The Democratic Party expected to thank him for his service. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Chicago. Hey, Central California, stay up to date with all the latest news and weather. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to ABC 30 Action News.